Hey guys, welcome to my channel Indian Pythonista and in this video I'm gonna show how can you convert your Python scripts to simple commands using which you can execute those scripts by being at any location in your terminal. Interesting, isn't it? So yeah, so that is what we are gonna do in this particular video. So without any delay, let's get started. So a prerequisite for this video is that you must have watched my previous video in which I talked a bit about shebang. So shebang is a special character sequence which has a special meaning for Unix-like operating systems. And we, in the last video, we created a Python script called hello.py in which we put a shebang interpreter directive. So shebang interpreter directive is actually written as the first line of any kind of script which might be a bash script or a python script right now we are dealing with python scripts so in this case in the on the first line of my python script i have written a shebang interpreter directive in which what i'm doing is that i have written this command which is actually telling the terminal that what interpreter should be used for executing this script when you try to execute this script as a standalone file without specifying any interpreter okay uh, uh, and without specifying uh, specifying an interpreter explicitly okay so yeah so that is what we have already learned in the last video and now let me start step by step of how to convert this python script to a very simple command using which you can execute it by being at any location in your terminal so that will be just like ls so when you write ls you get what are the different files in or the folders in your current directory right so ls is like a terminal command. So similarly, we are going to convert hello.py to a command. So my command will be actually hello. So if the user writes hello, then they should get something like hello world because the execution of that hello.py file will return hello world. So what I'm going to do is that first of all, I'm going to rename my hello.py to hello. So by doing that now in my Python, uh, in my direct, in my directory, I have hello Python script. So if I just do dot slash hello, I get hello world, right? So why I'm writing dot slash by specifying dot slash, I am specifying that this particular script or this particular file is in my current directory only. So that is what I have to explain to my terminal if I want to execute hello. But what if I just want to write hello and the things should happen, I should get hello world. Well, for doing that, you need to understand one thing that whenever you write any command, what does your terminal do? Whenever you write any command on your terminal, the terminal will actually search for that command. The terminal will go to several locations in your operating system, in your file directories, and it will try to search if there is any file with that particular command name. So you can actually find out, find that, uh, you can actually find that out that what are the different locations which are searched for for checking if a command is valid or not so for doing that you can just do echo dollar path so path is actually an environment variable which contains the different locations which are searched for before actually executing a command so right now <clears throat> these are for uh, these are different paths which are separated by colons so slash home slash nickel slash bin is a particular location in my operating system in which the terminal will search for any file with the name hello if it wants to execute um, the command hello so if bin slash home slash nickel slash bin contains a file which can be executed like a command and the name of that file is hello then writing hello will work so that is the thing so first of all we're going to learn two things here first of all we are going to learn how to add some new path to our exit uh, to our existing environment paths right so for doing that what you have to do is first of all you have to understand that which kind of shell you're using right now so the most common shell is the bash shell and what I am using right now is called a ZSH, ZSH shell. So if you are using ZSH shell, then what you have to do is you have to edit dot ZSH RC. And if you are using a bash shell, then you have to use bash RC. So these are the two different names for different kind of shells. 
So right now I'm using ZSS, so I will write VI, which is Vim. I want to edit the file using Vim editor. So VI and then the path to my ZSH RC file. So I'm gonna exec uh, I'm gonna edit it now. So what you have to do is that you have to write export path equal to and now you have to write dollar path and then you are putting a colon so what is this line is going to do is that is job it is just going to append a new path to existing list of paths so my new path let's say is slash home slash nickel slash let's say my scripts so on my home folder i will i'll be creating a new directory whose name will be my scripts so that is what I'm gonna do here. <clears throat> now, the interesting thing about bash RC or ZSH RC is that these files get executed before you actually start running a shell, okay? So first of all, let me just move to my home folder. And as you can see, my home folder is slash home slash nickel. So now I want to create slash home slash nickel slash my scripts. So let me do make directory my scripts. So this is the directory. Okay, so I already have this directory. So let me just remove the old one. Okay, so now let me make the new directory here. So I have created a new directory whose name is my scripts. And if I move to my scripts and I check, it is currently empty, right? So now the thing is that um, whenever you will be opening a new terminal, for example, I've opened a new terminal here and you will check your path it will contain your newly added path which is slash home slash nickel slash my scripts so in this way you add a new folder to your existing list of paths but if you do it in your current folder in which you had just edited your zshrc or bash rc file you will not get my scripts the recently added path here for that you will have to execute your zshrc file explicitly like this and now you check you will get your path Okay, so it is slash home slash nickel slash my scripts. So in this way, you just add any new folder to path. And now in my my scripts folder, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put that hello file right here. So let me first of all move back to my desktop. And on my desktop, I have the hello file. It is the Python script, which has a shebang interpreter directive as well. So writing dot slash hello is working. So I'm going to move it to slash home slash nickel slash my script. So I'm going to move it to this folder. Okay. So I have moved it. So it is now not in my desktop anymore. So now let me move to my scripts and let me check. I have hello here, right? So I have now hello Python script in my, my script folder. So now if I just try to do hello, let's see what happens. It is working. I'm getting hello world. And look at that. It is appearing like it is a command, but it is actually a Python file, which is being executed here. Okay. Now let me try it here as well. Hello. Look at that. It is working. So now let me open a new terminal window. And on that, let me try to write hello. So it is like whenever I write hello on my terminal, I get hello world because that by that particular um, file is being executed. So for just for giving you just a recap, what have we done is that I have added the my script folder in my home directory as one of the path in my environment variable paths. So here it is. So what happens is that whenever you write hello, all these folders are searched for any file, which is by the name hello. So slash home slash nickel slash my scripts actually contains a file called hello right and what do we have in hello in hello we have a shebang directive which is already explaining that which interpreter should be used so you do not have to explicitly specify python3 hello.py right so that is the benefit that you're using uh, that you're getting because of shebang directive so due to this dot slash hello works and hello will also work because Hello is a Python script in your environment variable paths. So that is also working. So yeah, so this is how you convert any given, um, let's say Python script to a simple command for your terminal in your operating system. So it is working fine. 
and I hope you're gonna create some more utilities for yourself by converting your Python scripts to very simple commands which you can run from anywhere in your terminal. So yeah, so that is all about it. So if you still have any doubts, you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching.